You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. 12 years after leaving the Premier League, Cristiano Ronaldo is potentially returning to England. This time though, he might be wearing Manchester City's blue rather than Manchester United's red. But would that work? Pep Guardiola has needed a number 9 for some time, and after City's failed pursuit of Harry Kane, Ronaldo's availability could not have come at a better moment. Juventus' decline under Andrea Pirlo was sharp and left the Portuguese wanting to leave Turin and, with Juve keen to lighten their wage bill of the 31 million euros Ronaldo earns each year, this would be a deal to suit all parties. The Ronaldo who left England was a highly dynamic and thrilling player. He was lethal on the counter-attack and a goal scorer from every conceivable situation. Approaching his 37th birthday, he's a less mobile, more static version of that player, particularly without the ball, because Ronaldo offers almost nothing to a team's press and very rarely applies any pressure to an opponent. Is that a problem? Well, not necessarily. Gabriel Jesus averaged 30 pressures per 90 last season, while Ferran Torres managed 12.4, both somewhere ahead of Ronaldo's 6.7, Clearly, an adjustment to the team accounts would be needed, but TIFA analyst Alex Stewart believes that City could use him as a static point in their attack, a pivot around which other players press and as a tool with which to block up the central passing lane. Given that City typically dominate possession, averaging over 60% in the Premier League in 2021, that's something they're built to accommodate. And it's certainly not enough of the attraction to compromise the obvious advantage. Even now, Ronaldo would deliver goals by the bucket load. Useful, because a City centre forward hasn't actually scored 20 league goals in a season since 2018-19, and conversely, Ronaldo hasn't failed to reach that tally since 2009. Pep Guardiola has been able to rely on other sources of goals of course, like Kevin De Bruyne and Raheem Sterling, but never in the concentrated doses associated with Ronaldo, even at this stage of his career. And there's good reason to believe that he would suit the type of chances that Guardiola's team create. Last season, only 10 of City's 83 Premier League goals were scored from outside the box, with the bulk of the team's chance creation focused within 18 yards. In his last full Serie A season, Ronaldo scored 29 times from an XG rating of 28.34. Furthermore, only one of those goals came from outside the box during open play, as it did the season before, and the season before that. In concert with this shot map from 2021, it helps portray Ronaldo as the kind of close quarters, hyper efficient converter of chances that would so obviously benefit City, and, despite his advancing years, his declining mobility and his titanic wages, it's difficult to imagine this being anything other than a success. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence, and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.